I've given and, you and, and, and they need answers around that. They need the position of, of government on these issues. I've given you the position. The position is that she's going nowhere. And, and government is not interested in following yeah. up on that issue. Government is not interested in watching porn. Hi, lovely viewers. It's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpondum. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share, and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Mm. Uh, as a message came through via WhatsApp, um, wanting to get a comment from you, on the issue of the, there's been a video that has been making rounds uh we've seen it in, in uh, well seen the stories being reported as well on various uh, media platforms recently was on the front page of uh one of the leading newspapers the news diggers that purports to have the uh, uh, drug enforcement commission director general uh in the video there and it again uh, takes us back to the issue of the infamous phone call that purported to have the uh, home affairs and internal security permanent secretary and the political advisor to the, uh, the the president what has also come out from this from from some people is that there hasn't been a clear position on on, on government on these issues um especially to a certain whether or not this is really these people involved in the video and in the audio has this been deliberate by by government to what is your question well, has it been deliberate to do not exactly give a, a, a clear position because on that video on the, on the audio first of all we've not heard from government whether or not uh they've, 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 they've uh, just a clear position from government uh, even based off the investigations from the police on whether or not that was that was true because what we heard fact from you mr kawana i remember you speaking out on this issue uh, following morning and you are uh, you're quick to say it was not true even though investigations were being carried out and uh, it was yet to be uh, authenticated but you, you came out very quickly and said it wasn't but is government going to give a position especially on this issue of the video that purportedly uh implicates miss mrs miss uh, chua well as far as the videos are concerned we haven't seen the videos but what we have heard however is that there is a strong petition that has taken a twofold the first fold was that they asked Madam Mary Chirwa to resign. And the second fold is that they have asked the government to fire or the president to fire Madam Mary Chirwa as a result of those purported videos. So the response is that number one, we have not seen the videos. Number two, even if the videos are there and even if the person in those videos is there, as far as we are concerned, it has nothing to do with her job. It does not hinder her job in any way whatsoever. She is able to meet her deliverables. She was employed to do a job to fight corruption and bring the corrupt, bring the money launderers, bring the pompous to book. And she's doing just that. So as far as government is concerned, she's carrying out her duties diligently and her duties have not been affected in any way. So seeing as she has not resigned, and we can assure you that as government, she's not going to be fired. Uh, all those that are purporting and calling for government to fire her should know that they are going to sing to the high heavens with the highest of their voices. It will not happen. She's staying. And if you've got a debt with deck, your debt is coming. If you've got issues with deck, your debt is coming. If you've got homework with deck, your debt is coming. Because Mary Chirwa is going nowhere with the issues around morality and not earlier on you said uh, you, you spoke about morality but let's let's be honest here mr kawana because it's an important issue in this country and like i did mention earlier on i mean for the president to address the country on on issues of morality once a year then it must be something very important for zambia as as, as a christian nation so that also does not impact especially look at the integrity of the office uh you know how she's expected to to conduct herself while being in that office if people are suggesting this and calling for for her to resign in that way uh because of issues of morality that does not impact her position in that office until we see the so-called videos so government generally uh, has not well, taken time to 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 
even have these issues being investigated or being followed up to authenticate we because have, have, police did the police did mention that we have not seen the videos and this government is not in the business of watching such videos you know as if we are the pornographic front sorry yeah i was almost saying uh, patriotic front people who are who keep talking about uh, uh, these videos and trying to call the government to fire because i've seen that there's a lot of call from pf members calling on the president to fire madam mary chiwa and this is why i'm saying to them that we've heard you and she's not going to be fired and there will be nothing like that and until we see the videos we we, we cannot even start commenting on morality but i'll, I'll say something generally okay i'll say this generally i have seen a very sad situation in our country especially via social media where women are being victimized and being punished twice here is an innocent young lady in love with chimweka and you have your private conversations in the privacy of your rooms and you chimweka you pick a phone and you begin to record yourselves with that innocent, beautiful young lady. And later on, you break up. Later on, she is, for argument's sake, recruited as a teacher. And you, Chimweka, say, hey, we are on Chito. for the shako five pin salary. And the girl says, how are you mad? I can't give you that kind of money. And you say to her, Chiwe, if you do not give me that money, I am going to, put, to release these videos to the public. You know what this will do? It will embarrass you and you get fired as a teacher. And she says, I'm not going to do it. You try to blackmail her, she's not going to do it. Then you have the audacity, the evilness, the meanness to release those footages to the public and bring shame upon the young lady. And society in response begins to rain down on her, forgetting that firstly she didn't fume herself, you did. Secondly, that she was naively and in love with you and allowed you to do that because you were seated in the private and confines of your rooms. And you took that knowing that it's a private footage and you released it. Instead of condemning you, Chimweka, society begins to condemn the young lady and want to push her to a point where in most cases, these our young ladies end up committing suicide. Why should society punish that young lady twice? Um, and it's interesting, again, that's why I ask, so is government taking interest in this particular issue of of uh, uh, of, of madam mary Chua? and you say that so it, does, yeah. it, it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't affect her work but the, but according to our law we do have cyber laws yes the police are investigating this issue but one of the issues that comes up here is that even producing by the way is an offense thank you so if you say that it doesn't affect the office in any way when people are, are alleging that it's high in there and there's an offense there of producing then government should definitely take interest in this. Yes. Moreover, she's leading an investigative wing. I so you. it should be looked into. I hear you. I'm going back to the young lady's demonstration I gave using you. So you fumed the young lady. Who produced? You are the one that was fuming the young lady. Who produced? It is you, Chimweka, not her. But you see, Mr. Nah, Bonnet, I'm coming, I'm maybe, coming, I'm maybe, no, maybe it's true that you truly haven't seen the, the, the videos. But information coming out here. is that this was self-filmed. There was nobody else filming. It was the individual there. And that's maybe this, this uh, information I'm not privy to. But information, well, as far as we know here, is that this person filmed on their own. So no. they produced. Those that are calling on the president to fire, mainly from the PF, are saying that in those purported videos, it is her featuring giving the impression that she was she was filmed so that's why i'm telling you that giving an example of your the electricity i gave about you filming your la young lady it is you who filmed her who produced number one there are cyber laws yes so you filmed her you produced it's you number two who distributed is it her no Mr. Bonner, it is I you who you're, you're running you're running away from the issue here because what we're telling you 
from information that's out there and if you take time maybe you may not be interested now but if it will be of interest to you or, or generally the government you will see that there, you there's, there's production there there's still production there of, of the individual in question so what what comes out now is that it's an offense just the same way yes circulation and being in possession is an offense so is production and this is a very sensitive office Mr. Kwanu. Are, you cannot run away we from are, that we are speaking the same language and i agree with you according to our cyber laws producing pornographic material and distribution of the said material is an offense before the law so whoever produces has broken the law whoever distributes has broken the law now even without without it being authenticated whether or not it's her and hearing from you saying government uh, obviously the president having the have, have no interest of even uh, uh, uh actually following up on this issue raises concern mr mr Kaona, because at the end of the day it's still an offense Chimwek. so if it really is her it still is an offense and it's interesting to hear you say that nothing will be done still when you have such a situation in countries like the uk mr kawana where people who who resign on moral grounds they have all these allegations going on uh, around them we saw having the deputy uh, chief whip over there people resign even just because of bad leadership of, of of the person leading government people resign on moral basis but w why does it seem to be such a difficult thing over here in zambia so, Chimweka, right now there are forty-five thousand young people we're going to employ in this census 45,000 enumerators. That's what, those are the kind of things, you know. We, we, we have to plan for 5,000 soldiers to recruit. 45,000 enumerators. We are still settling down 34,000, uh, uh, 30,000 teachers. We are settling down 11,000 health workers. You want us as government to find time to go and start watching porn? We this don't have such this, time. This is, this is let the people talk, Mr. Gawana, yes. and the people one answers around this yes because it's to speak the integrity you, of the government I've, I've given and, you, and 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 they need answers around that they need the position of of government on these issues i've given you the position the position is that she's going nowhere and, and government is not interested in following yeah. up on that issue government is not interested in watching porn all right that's all right for you today lovely viewers if you did enjoy the video please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below i'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.